Ever wondered about the intriguing space race between India and Pakistan? Well, wonder no more. Today we're embarking on an exciting voyage into the cosmos, where we'll explore the fascinating journey of these two nations in their quest to conquer space. As we orbit around this captivating topic, we're going to discuss the feats, challenges, and ambitions of India's Indian Space Research Organization, or ISRO, and Pakistan's Space and Upper Atmosphere Research Commission, also known as SUPARCO. We'll also delve into the reasons behind the differences in their space programs. But remember, this isn't a competition. It's about celebrating the spirit of exploration and the pursuit of knowledge. So strap in and prepare for launch as we journey into the vast expanse of the universe. Let's delve into the exciting world of space exploration, starting with India's ISRO. The Indian Space Research Organization, or ISRO, started its journey in 1969. In the span of just over half a century, it has grown from a fledgling organization into a pioneering force in space exploration. ISRO's first major achievement was the successful launch of Aryabhata, India's first satellite in 1975. This marked a significant milestone for the nation and set the stage for many more ambitious projects. ISRO has since undertaken a series of successful lunar missions. Chandrayaan-1 and Minus-2 have helped deepen our understanding of the Moon, and plans are already underway for a future lunar landing with Chandrayaan-3. But the Moon isn't the only destination on ISRO's itinerary. The organization has also developed a robust fleet of rockets and launch vehicles, making India completely self-reliant when it comes to space missions. However, what truly sets ISRO apart is not just its achievements, but the way it achieves them. The organization has developed a reputation for its cost-effective approach to space exploration. While other space agencies may have larger budgets, ISRO has consistently demonstrated that it's possible to achieve great things without breaking the bank. And if you think ISRO is done, think again. The organization is already gearing up for its next big project, Gaganyaan. This ambitious mission aims to send Indian astronauts or Viomonauts into space, marking another potential milestone in India's space journey. ISRO's cost-effective and self-reliant approach sets it apart in the global space community. From launching its first satellite to planning human space flights, ISRO has shown that it's not just about reaching for the stars, but doing so in a way that is sustainable and efficient. So as we look to the future, we can expect many more exciting things from this pioneering force in space exploration. Moving on to the Space and Upper Atmosphere Research Commission, or SUPARCO, of Pakistan. This organization, established a few years prior to ISRO in 1964, embarked on its space exploration journey with a different set of priorities and challenges. SUPARCO's crowning achievement came in 1990 when they successfully launched their first satellite, the Badrawan. This marked a monumental step for Pakistan, creating a ripple of excitement across the nation. But unlike ISRO's ventures to the moon, SUPARCO has primarily focused on the development of communication satellites. This focus on communication satellites is not without reason. Given Pakistan's diverse terrain, from scorching deserts to towering mountains, these satellites play a critical role. They help bridge the gap between remote areas and urban centers, ensuring essential communication services are available to everyone across the country. Yet, SUPARCO's journey hasn't been without its share of tribulations. Funding limitations and shifting political priorities have sometimes hampered the growth of their space program. They've also had to rely on international collaboration for certain technological aspects, which can present its own set of challenges. But let's not forget, every space program in the world has faced obstacles at some point. It's the determination to overcome these challenges that truly defines a space agency. Despite these hurdles, SUPARCO has continued to push the boundaries of what's possible. Today, SUPARCO is making significant strides in satellite technology, particularly in the realm of remote sensing and communications. They're developing satellites that will not only improve communication services, but also aid in weather forecasting, disaster management, and agricultural development. Despite challenges, SUPARCO continues to strive for advancement in space technologies. They're reaching for the stars, determined to carve out a space for Pakistan in the ever-expanding cosmos. They're a testament to the indomitable spirit of exploration and innovation that propels humanity forward. The journey might be tough, but as they say in the world of space exploration, the sky is not the limit, 
it's just the beginning. You might be wondering, why is there a gap between the two programs? Well, let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. Firstly, it's worth noting that although Suparco was established five years before ISRO, the momentum of India's space program took off at a faster pace and has continued to maintain a consistent trajectory. This has been largely due to a steady inflow of resources and a firm commitment from the government to prioritize space exploration. On the other hand, Pakistan's Suparco, despite having an earlier start, faced a different set of challenges. One key factor has been the allocation of resources. Pakistan's focus has been divided with significant resources channeled towards other areas such as its nuclear program, which might have limited the growth of its space program. Another key factor is the role of international collaboration. In the world of space exploration, partnerships can often be a game-changer, facilitating technology transfer and fostering innovation. India's ISRO has been able to establish broader partnerships with global space agencies, which has significantly accelerated their space program. In contrast, Suparco has had to rely more on international collaboration for certain technological aspects due to resource constraints. While these collaborations have been beneficial, they haven't been able to propel Suparco's program forward at the same pace as ISRO's. Finally, political priorities have played a significant role. The governments of both countries have had to make tough choices about where to invest their resources. While India made space exploration a priority early on, Pakistan's focus has been more diversified, impacting the pace of their space program's development. So, in a nutshell, the difference in focus and resources, coupled with the extent of international collaboration and political priorities, has led to the current state of the space race. Each country has its own unique challenges and priorities which have shaped their respective journeys in space exploration. The difference in focus and resources has led to the current state of the space race. Despite the gap, the future of space exploration in both countries is exciting. As we look ahead, we see a sky full of possibilities for both the Indian Space Research Organization and Pakistan's Space and Upper Atmosphere Research Commission. ISRO is all set to make more strides in the coming years. They're not just stopping at the moon. Mars is next on their list. Yes, you heard that right. Their Mars Orbiter mission, fondly known as Mangalyaan, has already made its mark and they're eager to continue their exploration of the Red Planet. But perhaps their most ambitious project yet is the Gaganyaan mission, aiming to send humans into space by the middle of this decade. It's an audacious goal, but if anyone can do it, it's ISRO. Meanwhile, Suparco isn't sitting idle either. They're focusing on satellite technology, developing systems for remote sensing and communication, these satellites are crucial for improving everyday life in Pakistan, from predicting weather patterns to enhancing communication networks. They're also looking to enhance their technological capabilities through international collaborations. Who knows, we might even see a Pakistani astronaut in space in the not-so-distant future. Both ISRO and Suparco have their eyes set on the stars, and they're actively working to make their ambitious goals a reality. They're pushing the boundaries of what's possible, not just for their countries, but for the entire world. It's not just about national pride or a race against each other. It's about contributing to humanity's understanding of the universe. And who knows, in this quest for knowledge and exploration, we might even see a friendly rivalry develop between ISRO and Suparco. A rivalry that's not based on competition, but on mutual respect and a shared passion for space exploration. A rivalry that pushes each other to innovate, to explore, to reach for the stars and beyond. So let's look to the future with optimism and excitement. For in the words of Carl Sagan, the sky calls to us, if we do not destroy ourselves, we will one day venture to the stars. The future might even see a friendly rivalry pushing the boundaries of space exploration further. That brings us to the end of our journey through the space programs of India and Pakistan. We've ventured into the cosmos, digging into the history, achievements, and future plans of both the Indian Space Research Organization and Pakistan's Space and Upper Atmosphere Research Commission. We've discovered that despite the differences in their journeys, both nations are reaching for the stars. ISRO, with its cost-effective and self-reliant approach, has made significant strides in lunar missions and satellite technology. Suparco, on the other hand, has focused on the development of communication satellites essential for their country. 
Both organizations have their sights set on the future, promising exciting advancements in space exploration. Now it's your turn to join the conversation. Which aspect of these space programs intrigued you the most? Is there another space race you'd like us to delve into? Remember, every comment, like, and subscription fuels our journey of discovery. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome science content.